All right, I'm going to talk about common parasites that affect dogs. And that's a picture of Stella. That's how I woke up to her one morning. She wow. rolled over in bed. Uh, so common internal parasites are hookworms, whipworms, roundworms, heartworms, tapeworms, giardia, and coccidia. Um, they all, all of these, um, except the heartworm, um, inhibit, they attach to the intestinal tract um, and cause problems from there. And then these are common external parasites. You have fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, mites, lice, and mange. Um, these are fleas, so like these are flea, ni or uh, sorry, lice, these are lice nits. Um, they're white, whereas you see with fleas, um, they usually leave like a black flea dirt and the flea itself is dark, um, compared to like the louse or the lice that are white. Um, and then everyone's probably seen like a tick. Um, this is what it looks like when it's just crawling around, and then this is what it looks like engorged after it is um, made a meal with your dog. Or you. Or you, yeah. 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 All right, and then this is like how they acquire them. Um, usually it's ingesting the eggs or the spores from whatever parasite it is in the soil um, or from contaminated feces or food. Um, if they're around other dogs a lot, um, it's really important that you do use preventatives because dogs pass these around like crazy. Um, especially if they're you know playing in the same area, these can live in the soil for a really long time. Um, so all the dog has to do is even be digging in the dirt, you know, if your dog likes to dig holes and stuff, if they're at a dog park or something like that, those spores could be living in the soil and your dog's digging it up and getting it in their mouth and it's possible that they can get them that way. Um, biological vectors is another way. So like ticks are considered a biological vector because they can carry um, other diseases and parasites, like ticks carry um, Lyme disease. And then uh, mosquitoes are the biological vector for heartworms. So they carry, um, they go in different stages. Um, which is shown up here, and the heartworms have to be in stage, um, stage one through three is actually in the mosquito, and then stage four um, to five, I think is, they just call it adult, but L4 and five um, are the ones that are actually in your dog, and the adult mature um, heartworm is actually the one that lodges in the heart and will wind up um, killing your dog if you don't treat them for it. Um, I think that is that one. And then the symptoms, usually with um, worms you'll notice weight loss um, with the intestinal ones. Weight loss, um, they can be lethargic or anemic if they have ticks or fleas because um, they do actually um, drink like your dog's blood. Um, they'll have dry itchy skin. This is an example, an extreme example of flea um, dermatitis. So that's a dog that's had fleas for a very long time um, and is obviously very irritated by that. Um, they can have vomiting or diarrhea. Um, occasional coughing, um, scooting, like on the carpet, if they have worms, um, it makes their butt itchy. Um, they're trying to get those worms out, so you might notice your dog scooting along the carpet if they don't normally do that. That's something that could be a sign that you need to have your dog um, tested. And then a distended abdomen, which is this here. Um, worms are really common in puppies. Um, they pass them around, so it's really um, important that if you do get a dog from a breeder or anywhere else that the puppy is dewormed um, every couple weeks as they age. And then treatment. So the vet is probably the best option if your dog has intestinal or um, external parasites. Um, the intestinal ones especially because they tend to cause lots of problems. Um, some dewormers and antiparasitics are sold like at pet stores like I know we sell. Um, we have for the external ones like the fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, Advantage, and Advantix. Um, you can get those at PetSmart. Um, those are more of something, so they have the actual like flea shampoo and then this is a spray that you can spray on your dog that will kill the flea and fleas and ticks. Um, it's really important that you look that they kill the eggs too because if you're only killing the adult ones, that cycle is going to keep continuing if you don't actually get rid of the, um, the flea larvae. Um, and a lot of the products, surprisingly, that are sold over the counter don't get rid of that. They just kill the adult ones. Um, so that cycle is just going to keep continuing, but these, like I said, might not be as effective as something that you can get prescribed for <coughs> them. And then prevention is definitely the best treatment. Um, you don't want it, it's a lot more expensive to treat external and internal parasites than it is to prevent them. Um, I know with heartworm, it's like $7 a month for um, the preventative, and it's something like thousands of dollars for the treatment, and the treatment is really, really hard on dogs, and depending on the stage of the heartworms that they have when you find out about it, um, it might honestly be too late, and the treatment could kill your dog. So these are some common preventatives. Um, these up here are going to be heartworm preventatives. These are given usually once a month orally. 
Um, I know Stella is on the Tri Heart Plus, which is just a generic of the Heart Guard. Um, the Heart Guard is, is chewier and it like tastes better for dogs, but Stella will eat literally anything. Um, so she doesn't <laughs> mind that the Tri Heart is like a hard, chalky tablet. She eats it anyway. Um, Brevecto, I've heard mixed things about. This is a chewable um, three month, I believe, yeah. um, heartworm preventative. So that's better for people who are a little bit more forgetful. Or no, that's flea and tick. I'm sorry. No. That one's flea and tick. But if you're more forgetful with like giving them a uh, topical something once a month or something like that, that is a chewable available from the vet. Um, I don't know any pet stores that actually sell that one. Um, this is the Soresto collar for fleas and ticks. Um, I think it does mosquitoes as well. That's what Stella's wearing. Um, they last eight months, which is really awesome. Um, it's probably the best, like the most cost effective um, form of prevention that I found. Um, the topical, like the canine Advanix, that one runs somewhere about $70 for four months, where this is $55 roughly for eight months. Um, you put it on them and you can leave it on them. It's fairly waterproof. You don't want to bathe them and put soap on it, but um, if they go swimming or something once in a while, it's not a big deal. It's not chalky or powdery, so it's not going to get like all over if they sleep in bed with you or whatever. It doesn't smell, which is really nice. Um, and as long as it's tight enough and making contact with their skin, it actually just makes their whole body toxic to the fleas and ticks and mosquitoes, so when they bite them, they die, um, which is nice. And then Trifexis is available as well, and that's a all-in-one um, heartworm preventative, flea and tick preventative, and internal parasite preventative. And a lot of the heartworm chewable ones will protect against the um, internal parasites as well, which is nice. Because usually it says plus, right? It, what, it doesn't do ticks? No. Just fleas? No. Yeah. Ah, I thought it did ticks too. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Okay. So you would still need something for ticks then, on top of it. But would you overdose them no. if you are doing like an Advanix on No, I usually have them do the Trifexis and then I start of the Trifexis. Oh, okay. Ticks. So you do have to combine those. Gotcha. But there are lots of um, different preventatives and different ways to do it, but this is definitely better than trying to deal with fleas or ticks or parasites. Um, they can be very, very difficult to get rid of once you have them and very expensive, so it's definitely easier to just prevent them. Okay, questions. Anybody have any experience they want to talk about, like heart, dog with heartworms or whatever? It's always good to prevent it, obviously. Yeah, the treatment's really scary. So, you yeah. know, they have to take a needle between the 11th and 12th vertebrae and inject it twice. So, wow. inject it, wait a couple of days, and inject again. And the treatment is very, very expensive. I know, wasn't it, it used to be, wasn't it cyanide based? Yes. Or am I yeah. thinking wrong? Yes, yes, it was. It is, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. prevention is... Yeah. And then even hold. after, you have to keep them, like, pretty much crazy. Right, you can't let them be they can't active. Be active. Right, because or there's or worms or floating around in their blood, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. scary, and we see, like, especially, like, working at a pet store, you see so many people come in. Like, I have at least five or six people every, like, on the weekends at least that come up to me. My dog has fleas, my dog has ticks, how do I get rid of them? Mm -hmm. There was one person that I helped yesterday. <coughs> that was like, oh, my dog has fleas, it's really bad, and whatever, and I was showing them this stuff, and they're like, oh, I think I have that at home. Like, it, and it was like Advanix. Mm. I'm like, why didn't you just put you this on your dog? Is 